Welcome to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Today we're eating lunch at Captain Cook's. We got two different menu items to try and we can't wait to share them with you and tell you what we think. So let's take a look. You know, we decided to mobile order today so everything is packed up nice. It's a great way to go, at least in our opinion. <laughs> look at that. So right here we have the Thai coconut meatballs which are served over white rice. And then over here we have our pulled pork nachos on house-made chips. These both smell amazing. They both look amazing. So let's dig in and give you our first impressions. So we've gone ahead and cut up the meatballs. They're huge. And uh, do you want to do the honor? So taking the sure. first bite? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Any first impressions? Sweet and spicy. Interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm going in again. I need one more. I need a little bit more rice. The rice looks really good. Here we go. That's a good bite. I don't know. It just works, but there's like a spice at the end. I love it. It's sweet because of the coconut and then spicy on the back end. That's great. Okay. All right, it's my turn. This is our first time having these meatballs. I've heard good things about them, but we've never gotten around to eating them. So let's get a good bite here. I want to make sure we have a little bit of everything. Mmm, definitely coconutty. Oh, and there is some heat there at the end. Yeah, it like comes on with the, the back end of it. It's very interesting. Very interesting. The rice is really good, by the way. Okay, but next up, we need to try these pulled pork nachos. I'm gonna go in with my fork, to make sure I can get a little bit of everything on this bite. Now these are house-made chips. I wanna build the perfect bite over here. We do have pineapple. Spicy mayonnaise. Lots of good stuff here. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. That's a ton of flavor. It's so good. All right, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna build my chip. I don't know. There we go. Kind of see there's so much here. Okay, so first impression. Again, sweet. I don't have a lot of the spice from the spice mayo. Maybe I just didn't get any of the spicy mayo. But it's a really good, it's a pulled pork chip with a crunch, it's great. I will say though, I feel like one thing about the meatballs is that they, they're almost just like overpowered by the coconut and like it kind of just gets lost in the sauce, literally. Mm -hmm. It's like a perfect way to describe it. So like you almost lose a little bit of the meatball flavoring and stuff now that I've been thinking about it a little bit more. But I love the, the heat on the back end though, it's great. That goes with the sweet, which works really well. All right, we're gonna eat our lunch and we'll let you know what we think here at the end. All right, we finished up our lunch and now it's time to give you our review of these two dishes. Now we're changing things up a little bit. We are gonna use a one to 10 scale. I think this is a little bit easier. So moving forward, that's what you can expect. So let's just get to it. What did you think of those coconut Thai meatballs? My initial reaction, as you saw, was delicious. That was completely wrong. I did not actually enjoy the meal as a whole. We split it, but at the halfway through, Catherine didn't want any more. Yeah. So then I decided to finish it off. I think the thing is, as I continue to eat the dish, it was overpoweringly sweet. Mm -hmm. There wasn't enough balance with the meatball. The meatball had what I believe was the actual spice at the end, mm -hmm. but I think that is all it had was just a kick of heat at the end. Yeah, it didn't taste like, a, no, there was no flavor. And I feel like that's true in both directions. So you got that flavor of coconut and then you got the heat, but there was no like meat flavor. It didn't taste no. like anything in particular. It didn't taste like any spices. It was just it needed meat. salt. I think. Is it, 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 I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm going to after after everything. I'm going to go down to six four. Ooh. I personally did not like this dish. While I did enjoy the first bite, I think that that coconut flavor with a little bit of heat was really interesting at first. The more that I ate it, it, it kind of got more and more bland as you continued to eat the dish. Mm -hmm. 
I'm giving it a 6-1. I think one redeeming quality of the dish, though, is that it's a heavy meal. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of rice, and you get three meatballs that are actually pretty stout. They're actually pretty big. But would you be able to eat that whole serving yourself? Because I feel like with the flavors, it would be very difficult to polish off that entire dish. You actually make a valid point? No. Because I only ate half of By the time I was bouncing back and forth between the meal, you know, between the dishes, and even after having multiple bites in a row of the meatballs, it was too much. You just didn't want any more. I didn't want any more. You, you know what? That's a very valid point. I'm still going to stick it at a 6-4, though. Now, we also have the pulled pork nachos to talk about. This was another really good portion size, and the meatballs was a pretty good portion size as well, all things considered. This was a great portion size. I think the price for both dishes was pretty good. They both came in at like 11 bucks. I really enjoyed this. I do think that it's worth getting. I think that if you're here and you're looking for a filling, fun, really flavorful dish, this is pretty good. I'm gonna put it at a 7.6. One thing that was surprising about it is that there was actually some wonton pieces. Yeah. Which was actually kind of fun. It changed the texture of the chips and I think that was really nice. It even changed the flavor. I don't know if you noticed the palate change yeah. when you had it. But um, yeah, I, I think um, I think I'm, I'm actually gonna agree with you. I'm gonna go with 7-6 as well. I think it's really good. It's enjoyable. It's fun. It is the perfect balance of sweet and savory with like the pineapple and the spicy mayo and the pulled pork. Like that's how the balance is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad about those Thai coconut uh, meatballs. Like I really wanted that to be good. I'm actually surprised it tasted the way it tasted. I know. And I'm actually surprised at how many people like it. You know what? Maybe it's changed since the last time that people maybe ordered this. I will also say, in terms of these two dishes, when it comes to the pulled pork, although not everyone is gonna love like the sweet and savory that makes up this dish. I do think that pretty much anyone could enjoy it. On the other hand, the spice from those meatballs, that was just too much. I think while it wasn't too hot for me or for you for that matter, I do think that if you're someone who does not like spice at all, this is not gonna be for you. So yeah. just something to keep in mind. So those are our ratings for these dishes. Of course, if you've tried them, let us know what you think by leaving a comment down below. We'll see you for our next food review. That's it. Bye. Bye.